Welcome to Classic Game Room. Are your thumbs tired from playing too many video games? How about giving them a break and reading a book about the Batmobile? It's Batmobile, the complete history, a gorgeous hardcover book about the Batmobile's history from the comic books all the way through the newest movies. Insert imaginary footage of Batmobile crushing things here. Okay, so there's no moving footage in this book, but there are a lot of nice pictures and some good information. It's one of these big hardcover books that's meant to be a fun collector's piece for Batman enthusiasts. This spans the life of the Batmobile from the comic books to the 1960s awesome TV show into the 1980s and 90s movies and the newest movies with special attention paid to Christopher Nolan's Batmobile. Seen in the Dark Knight films, and you know there's only a few TV and film cars worthy of getting a nice book like this. The Batmobile, obviously, maybe Kit from Knight Rider, the General Lee, or the A-Team van. But the Batmobile is probably the best known and has the most variants, since it has undergone numerous changes throughout its lifespan. And that's what makes this book interesting. It just chronicles the life of this car, which is like a living machine. And that's what so many of us love as much as Batman himself. The Batmobile. What would Batman be without the Batmobile? I'll tell you, he would be Aquaman. And more chicks dig Batman. And everyone digs the Batmobile, even when Batman kind of sucked and they had to put nipples on the bat suit and the plot was just god awful the batmobile was still legit even joel schumacher can't f up the batmobile i'm just saying what everybody already knows in fact the batmobile should have been smart enough to back over the production team before they completed those movies but uh, this is the batmobile here not a sentient being like a transformer and fortunately christopher nolan took the series in the right direction although i kind of prefer the 1980s batmobile from tim burton's batman I think the Batmobile may have taken a step backwards. Now it looks like something you would actually drive and crush vehicles in front of you. So naturally, I want one. And of course, that motorcycle thing was definitely borrowed from the Spy Hunter remake. Anyway, this is a fun, collectible book. It's the kind of book you leave out to impress your friends and read when you want to relax with some light information and good photographs about the Batmobile. It's Batmobile, the complete history, which contains the complete history of the Batmobile. Bat-tastic!